Okay, we're back at this vehicle that had the battery issue. It has the replace hybrid battery error code that's come back. Um, I want to show you how we're going to definitively check this battery with the battery in place. And then we're going to go ahead and replace the battery. Okay, so what I have here is graphed on the tech stream the voltages of all the cell blocks. And I set the range between 18 and 14 volts. You can see all my voltages are nice and tight. They're, you know, right around... 15 point something and each one of these lines is uh, a continuing graph now I'm gonna start the car and I'm gonna load the battery by pressing the brake and the gas simultaneously and you'll see as I load the battery and the cells are uh, charged very quickly that the voltages will diverge between some of the best cells and worst cells and that'll allow us to see that this battery actually is bad so, I've started the car. Okay, you see the voltages are already starting to spread a bit. And, you know, if this represents 4 volts, once I have 1.2 volts difference between any two cells, that's when that code kicks in. So let's see, I've got it in drive, I'm holding the brake, and now I've floored it. It's charging rapidly. Oh, I'm out of range a little bit. Okay, so when I see the best and worst diverge, I can guesstimate that's over a volt or close to a volt just because of the scale of the graph. I can really pinpoint it by looking at these numbers carefully. But having seen many of these, when I see those spread, I'll see all the lines shoot up as it charges and the lines spread. That tells me this is a bad battery pack. Now, if I want to get really concise data, I can record that and screenshot and you know actually take a measurement of best versus worst cell under load. And that's what tells me definitively if the battery is good or bad. Okay, we're in the donor vehicle and we're gonna take a quick look at the battery in this vehicle. Now this battery, uh, we're thinking is good because the vehicle's crashed and it didn't have a known battery issue before. We... Oh, okay. So our voltages are nice and tight. I'm seeing what I can see is the highest is this 16.3. My lowest is 16.23. So that's a tenth of a volt. Really not bad for a battery that's been sitting for a month. Let's try and ready up. We fault it out. But, <laughs> okay, well that's fine. Let's take a look at our voltages now that we have it, you know, kind of the screen frozen in a point where it was under very heavy load. So I see the highest is 19.14 and my lowest is 18.97 so still really nice and tight uh way less than a full volt difference between my highest and lowest cell under heavy load so this battery is clearly in much better health than the battery in the other car that's thrown the battery code so we're going to take the battery out of this wrecked prius c and put it in the other car Okay, so we've installed the battery from the wrecked Prius into the Prius with the bad HV battery. So now the car is running and we're gonna go ahead and check the battery voltages. We expect them to be nice and tight. Uh, so I'm, I'm here in TechStream and I'm just going through these basic menus to get to battery. Taking a peek at the cell block voltages and that looks like the lowest and the highest. They're nice and tight just about a tenth of a volt different. Now we could go ahead and repeat that test we did before where we'll grab all of the blocks. I'm only actually able to graph eight things simultaneously. So I'll hit graph and then I'm gonna hit overlap and then I'm gonna go to menu. Oh, crap. It might kick us out of this, but we'll we'll give it a shot. Okay, so I'm going to hit menu, enter graph setup, 
manual range apply to all will go max 20 volts min 14 volts hit okay okay so there they are we're going to do that trick we did before they're really nice and tight i'm going to go ahead and go into drive hold the brake floor it i'm going to see them jump but unlike before they're not spreading they are that's our spread is right there and i would screenshot that and and just check but it's it's a much smaller spread than before so i know it's kind of hard to read these graph lines but when you become accustomed to it that really is your main indicator of battery health all right well that's all for now so we're good this thing's uh back on the road again got a good used battery in place of the failed original battery and we did go ahead and verify that this battery is in good shape the one that we got from the wreck car